and welcome to The Daily Diaries. My name is Crystal and I am stoked that you've decided to click your way to this video today. We are going to be playing with a palette that I have wanted for a really long time. This isn't a new palette, but it's one that's new to me and I'm so excited that it's here. I wasn't going to do a video on it, but I was like, no, it's gorgeous and it deserves a video even if it's not brand new. And if you have this palette in your collection, it may inspire you to bring it out and play with it again. It is from Sigma. It is the Cor de Rosa palette and it is beautiful packaging. And look at this inlay. Ooh, brush just fell out. Uh, look at this stunning inlay. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh. It is so pretty. I just want to wear it as a fascinator. <laughs> all right, so this is the Cor de Rosa palette in all its glory here. It's so beautiful. And it's funny because I spoke to someone at Sephora the other day in Adelaide in the city and she was saying she would love to try something from Sigma in real life. And I think a lot of Australian people haven't bought from Sigma because of the international shipping costs. However, if you sign up to the Sigma website, they do have sales where they have free international shipping, which is absolutely epic. So it is worth signing up. And that is exactly what I did to be able to get free shipping on this bad boy. So... Oh my god, this is a stunner. So today's video is just really about playing with makeup, about enjoying this palette. And if that sounds good to you, then please stick around and let's get into it. So I'm going to put a base down first. I'm just going to use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, which I use sporadically from time to time. <laughs> and I guess today I'm in the mood. I have a chiropractic appointment today and you know when you go to a chiro or a physio and if you happen to be wearing makeup, which I try not to most of the time, you come out with your eyelashes all stuck together, like <laughs> some kind of weird dead spider formation. That's what's going to happen to me today. <laughs> but that is okay, because this is the only time I can film a video. Hope you're having a great day. As I'm filming this, there have been so many uh, new releases for Christmas, Christmas launches including the Odin's Eye last year's collection plus two new ones. And I was always kicking myself that I didn't pick up the Merry Christmas palette last time. So yeah, hopefully this is my year. I do have the Glaminatrix, I think it's called Fairy Lights Christmas release coming to me at some point in the next few days, I hope. Okie dokie, there are so many beautiful colors in here. See, this is the thing. Basically this whole palette is my cup of tea, my color story jam. So where does one start when they're all colors you're into? Let's take the shade hybrid and I'm just going to use the brush that came in the palette. I do like Sigma brushes and that's going up above the crease. There. I did a Pilates class yesterday and it was so cool because <laughs> Only two of us rocked up, so it was basically a one-on-one -on -one sesh, except, you know, two-on-one. <laughs> so good. I've been trying out Reformer Pilates for the last couple of weeks, and it's um, kind of like torture, but I kind of really like it as well. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I'm a saddest. Okay, that color's beautiful. Look at her go. Mm-mm-mm. Yep, loving that. All right, next up, I'm gonna go in with this gorgeous pink shade here called Damask. And I'll be applying that with my little Tarte brush. I'll zoom you in a tiny bit. Oh, yes. My mom and dad are in Tasmania at the moment, and so they're doing, a, they're doing some sightseeing around Hobart today and taking lots of photos. So she's sending them through. They're so excited. They've been wanting to do this trip for a long time. So I'm so happy for them. Okay. This pink is beautiful. It's the pink of my dreams. It's bright, but I don't know. There's something it's bright, but it's not, it's not an immature bright. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's kind of a sophisticated bright pink. Who knew that was a thing? Oh, I love it so much that I'm just it's taking over my eye. I had to. It had to go everywhere. <laughs> it had to go everywhere. Look at her. I could bathe in this stuff. 
I'm going to take a refer brush now. This is the 14. And I just want to go back into the first corally peachy color hybrid and make sure that that's on the outer top edge of this guy. I'm excited because I'm going to the Friday's live concert on the weekend. So there'll be like boys to men, Jason Derulo, Jojo, just R&B stars from the past, from the prime of my youth <laughs> are going to be there. So that's going to be a lot of fun for sure. Hopefully I don't get a migraine <laughs> and I can actually go. Pesky migraines. Do you have a habit of interrupting life? For a bit of depth, I'm going to take the shade Shakespeare. Hell yeah. And I'll be using my Odin's Eye brush from the mystery box. Beautiful. And you can definitely see that over the other ones. So that is a good sign of a good eyeshadow. Because that's going over a lot of layerage. I like their matte formula a lot. It's buildable, but the pigment's beautiful. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. I'm enjoying this a lot. Mmm. I keep getting really carried away because <laughs> each color is so beautiful. I'm like, I'm just gonna use a little bit and then I end up using way more than I thought I was going to. I'm just gonna, I've just cleaned off the refer brush I had a, a moment ago and I wanna just blend that in a little bit. Looking absolutely gorgeous. Like a beautiful bruise on each eye. Taking this little fella now and dipping into the shade Bare Root. And sticking that in that outer V. Getting some serious depth. I'm so happy I finally have this palette after lusting after it for so long. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh yeah, we're gonna take some shimmers in a minute, of course. Before we get to that, I think I think I want to pack this original color hybrid into the inner corner. Oh yes, please. This is beautiful even without any shimmers. But as I am a sucker for shimmers, there will be shimmers. Don't worry. So nice. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not sure how this will go, but it's all about experimentation. I'm a firm believer. I am a qualified makeup artist, but like I say, I don't think that even matters. I mean, it's great, you know, to have a qualification and, and everything and, and learn the basics. But, you know, I used to work with a girl who was self-taught and was amazing. So <laughs> uh, what matters is that you're having fun and experimenting and you feel good. That's it. That's it. Now taking this little guy, flat brush, and dipping into this shade, which is a pale, kind of orangey beige. Let me just say that um, describing colors isn't my forte. <laughs> Neither is switching them. But I do my best for you. That looks sick. Wow, that's such a pretty shade on the eye. It has, yeah, it has more color to it than it looks like it has in the pan. That's really nice. I'm still absolutely crushed. I couldn't get the Beauty and the Beast collection. That Beauty and the Beast is my favorite animated Disney film. And the fact that I cannot get my hands on that collection really hurts my heart. <laughs> But they don't ship to Australia because of the licensing, Disney licensing. And working in radio, I know for a fact that they are super tight, Disney, when it comes to controlling their product. <laughs> All right, going under the eye now with this bullet brush. I feel like I'm just taking <laughs> every brush in my collection. And I want to use this hybrid shade again. Well, the name of it is hybrid. It's not a hybrid. <laughs> well, maybe it is. I don't know. No, it's just a map. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm absolutely loving these colors so much. 
Oh, they're so special. Now that is a beautiful matte eye once you get eyeliner and mascara on. But of course that's not where we're staying. Ooh, okay. I might take this shade here, High Society, and use that over here-ish. I don't know what the best way to apply these are. I think I'm gonna wet my, wet my application finger. Yes, that's pretty. Beautiful. Now, I will say I don't think these have as much pep as some of my indie brand metallics, but I do still think they're beautiful. They definitely do have pretty pigment to them. I'm just going to work out the best way to apply them. And these colours are definitely truer to the colour in the pan than, for instance, the Beauty Bay Rich palette that I tried recently. If you haven't seen that video, it should be up by now. The colours, the metallics in the pan looked so vibrant and looked like they would be a really vibrant shade, but on the eye they're actually quite muted. So, yeah, these ones aren't. They are actually quite beautiful. What I might do is lay down some of my... <laughs> ah! I'm throwing things around here. Lay down some of my NYX glitter glue, which look, I don't even have to take the lid off now. It just comes out the, comes out the side. There it is. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> that's so gross. And yet here I am just rolling with it. <laughs> All right. I want some of that. Well, kind of all over the lid, really. All right, now I've got that on. Let's go, actually I'm gonna, oh sh oh shite. <laughs> Literally the whole thing's just broken off now. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to buy another one of them. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> ah, I was trying to use it till it's demise, which I guess I kind of have. <laughs> Damn, 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 damn. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go back in with that High Society shade. Now that I've got that primer. Oh, look at the, look at the zing on that. Woo, looks great over that. Oh, yes, hello. She's a beauty. Okay, cool. Next, we are gonna take the gold shade. Oh, it's so pretty. Such a pretty gold. Sun Sprite. Oh, I love the name of it too. Oh, I love that. I've got a Sprite somewhere from when I was a kid. Rainbow Bright Sprite. <laughs> got Rainbow Bright too, actually. Mm, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I love this palette. This gold feels a lot finer to the touch than the last metallic. It's very light in my on my finger. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, yeah, baby. Mm, yep. And then I want to take under the eye. Can't not use this shade. This beautiful purple called Dark Knight. I'm going to use that on that outer third. Just on my finger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Loving everything. And then in the inner corner, I'm going to take this beautiful shade, Belle of the Ball. There you go. At least I've got one Belle in my collection, even if it's not the Beauty and the Beast one. <laughs> Just going to clean off my finger first, because otherwise I'm going to put dark colour where I don't want it. That's a stunning, stunning eyeshadow. Really beautiful. Really ethereal. I'm so happy that I have this palette. Oh, come on, guys. It's just, it's not getting more beautiful than that, let's be honest. And I'm actually totally happy not having any multichromes in this palette, even though, you know, love multichrome, but love just a metallic as well, a beautiful metallic and a little bit of a shimmer. That looks so pretty. I just wanna 
Do some final finishing touches. Take this little pencil brush from Rafa and dip back into that hybrid shade, which we've been using all over. Yeah, that's better. Ow, oh, there goes the elbow, mate. Who needs them? <laughs> Actually, me, I do. <laughs> right, I am gonna once more take this Rafa 13 brush. I'm gonna dip into the shade Apricot again, which was the very lightest color that we used and take that here. Yeah, cool. Just making sure there's a nice blend. I love this palette. All right, I'm gonna pop some eyeliner, mascara on, I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back and this is how the eyes look absolutely beautiful, I think. And just to let you know, I used three eyeliners to finish it off. So I used a dark brown liquid liner from Getting Love on My Phone. That's rare, it's probably my mum. Uh, <laughs> uh, the NYX Professional Makeup Epic Ink Liner. This one is the shade. Mm -hmm brown just brown and then I used through this little portion of my eye here the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil which I really like in Vice it's a beautiful purple shade and then in my waterline I used the MAC Excess Color oh sorry the MAC Color Excess Gel Liner Pencil in Tat Last which is sort of a corally color so that is the combo that I have on my Eyes. Also, I used my Tarte Opening Act Lash Primer with my Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. My favorite combo. So let's get some blush on because I'm looking a bit pale, <laughs> in my humble opinion. I think I'm going to take Pinched from Melt. It's one of their cream blush lights and y'all know I love the Melt cream blush lights. I have done dedicated videos on them. And these are pigmented so you don't want to go in too hard. So I'm just taking this blush brush from e.l.f. I think. Sorry, getting my little mirror in the way. It's a melt mirror as well. Ah, so cute. Okay, and I just like to blend things out with my finger once they're on. That's a, I've been really into my fingers lately, <laughs> specifically for makeup. <laughs> Gosh, the hair's out of control. Washed it and blow dried it straight. Because <laughs> that's natural curl, generally. My mum has very curly hair, so that's where it comes from. <laughs> okay, that's a really pretty colour. As always, when you see it in real life, it's much more pigmented than it looks with a camera and lights. Then a little highlight. Use the Westman Atelier Lit Up Stick in Parlour, which was a limited edition one at the time. I don't know if it's in their regular collection these days. I've had it for a while. I feel like as much as I love the things that I have from Westman Atelier, I am, <laughs> I'm just off the wagon because I look at how freaking expensive their products are, especially in Australia. Like I'd have to sell a kidney if I wanted to get a decent collection of Westman Atelier and it's just, just not possible right now. That kidney I need for other things, <laughs> but it is a beautiful highlight stick. So anyway, I think I'm just going to, see how this looks. I don't know. I When I bought this, I wasn't sure how I felt about it. So let's put it on because I haven't worn it since. This is the Kiko Milano Smart Fusion Creamy Lip Crayon in 06. And I think from memory, it's a bit metallic-y. I don't know. Let's just see. Mmm. What do you think? I actually think I kind of like it. I feel like I'm still looking a bit pale. Why is that? <laughs> it's the lighting. It's definitely the lighting. Uh, let me see. Let me turn it down one. Two. I'm just going to add a tiny bit more blush. Yes, because this lipstick needs to be supported by a fair whack of blush. <laughs> All right. That is the finished look. What do you think? Ah! Let's zoom you out. We're very close right now. Okay, well, I I like it and I love this eyeshadow palette 
from Sigma. I am so happy. It's finally in my hot little hands and on my hot little face. No, uh, but yeah, I give this palette three thumbs up. I've pulled an extra from somewhere. If you love pinks and peaches and sun sunrise eyes and all those kinds of looks then you will love this eyeshadow palette the mattes are beautiful i really like the formula the metallics look gorgeous as well they're not going to be as like if you're someone who is used to just using indie brands then the metallics and stuff that you get from most indie brands are really like whew, they pack a punch but these are beautifully buildable and look glamorous and classy on the eye and they do they are true to the color that they look like they are in the pan which I really appreciate so I am very happy with this palette the Corderosa palette from Sigma and I'm excited to try and add more to my collection and one day somehow miraculously get hold of that bloody beauty and the beast eyeshadow palette but in the meantime thank you so much for being here I would love you to subscribe before you leave I'd love to see you back again please give this video a thumbs up if it has inspired you in some way maybe to pull out a palette that you already have with this kind of color story or maybe have this exact palette I would just yeah I would love if this video inspired you a little bit because again especially at this moment in time we are all struggling financially with the inflation going on all over the world things are really tight so it's nice to revisit palettes that aren't necessarily the latest releases and give them some love and the respect that they deserve so <laughs> please uh, like I said subscribe before you go thumbs up leave a comment if you would like to and I'll see you back here again next time much love See ya, bye. <laughs>